Hey everyone, this is Suresh from Mind is a Monkey, coming at you guys with another episode of Let's Check Out Some Diecast. I've got some Matchbox moving parts assortments um, lined up for you guys today. With regards to the mixes, I think these would be mixes 3 and 4. So when I say mixes 3 and 4, uh, that is considering uh, Matchbox moving from that traditional plastic packaging to a, um, um, you know, uh, recyclable, uh, no plastic packaging, right? So ever since the this no plastic packaging of Matchbox moving pods showed up, I, I would think this would be the third assortment and this would be the fourth assortment. So this third assortment has a beautiful um, Skyline chase, like a Matchbox super chase, you know? So it's it's got pretty cool racing livery and everything. Uh, no, I have not been lucky enough to find that yet. Uh, so uh, mixes three and four. Timing wise, uh, you know, these two mixes were uh, uh, within weeks of each other, uh, possibly two weeks. So they, they started hitting stores at the same time. So I just wanted to kind of like bring this lineup to you guys today and start opening them up, opening them up and uh, checking them out. So, but before we get into this, remember the last time I told you that I had got this, this, this one, this Toyota Land Cruiser FJ40 um, in, the, in the new packaging of Matchbox Moving Parts. So when I, when I started doing these videos, uh, you may remember I told you I never found this. Um, crazy thing is I still never found it. So I ended up getting, <laughs> I ended up getting um, a new one so that, you know, I could just like open it up with the rest of the uh, moving parts line and kind of like add it to the set, all right? So let's start cracking these up and checking them out. So uh, before we go into jump, um, before we move into um, uh, mixes three and four, I wanted to open this one up. So there we have the Matchbox Toyota Land Cruiser FJ40. So you may know, so we, we gotta kind of like nudge these wheels out from behind, right? All right, there we have this um, Toyota Land Cruiser FJ40 is a, is a classic Matchbox casting. You know, um, the, the uh, solid lines, um, uh, you know, um, are, are very reminiscent of, of older um, square, squared, um, uh, you know, body lines when it comes to the car's contours and everything. Um, yeah, I, I've been a big fan of this, um, uh, you know, this, this tooling. Um, I'm having a little difficulty propping open this door. Um, yeah, I, I don't wanna um, chip off the paint, so. Yeah, so coming back to the casting. So this is a pretty cool, uh, you know, kind of like a heritage slash vintage casting. Uh, you could you could go back, um, you know, like like 10, 15 years ago and you would see uh, pretty cool, solid um, matchbox colors uh, in, in this casting. So this has been um, out there for quite some time. So pretty cool casting. Supposed to be more of a, a all-terrain vehicle possibly specifically built for the desert military purposes like that, right? There we have the Toyota Land Cruiser FJ40. All right, now coming to the more uh, recent mixes, we have the 2023 Citroen EC4X. Yeah, so the moving parts is the, the hood, right? Yeah, generally when it comes to, you know, these moving parts, I, I don't venture too much because I don't want to um, kind of like break it open, you know? So I, I don't want to kind of like push it too far and I'm, I'm trying really hard. It's it's not going anything um, uh, anywhere beyond beyond this threshold, right? All right, so pretty simple casting, um, you know, yeah, one moving part. Uh, so, and that's the 2023 Citroen EC4X. All right, let's place it there. Up next, we have the 2018 Ford Focus Rally Sport, right? And this one happens to be, um, as you can see here, this one happens to be um, a new tooling for the Matchbox moving parts line right 2018 
Ford Focus. And I think there's also probably like an authentic factory color because, you know, um, one look at this model and you can, you can already remember spotting this um, on the roads, can't you? So there we have it. Again, um, the moving part here is gonna be the hat, uh, is, is, sorry, uh, is, is the hood. Um, you know, thankfully, this one props up way better um, than it did with the um, Citroen. So, you know, full focus. Um, I hope you're able to get in, um, get a little bit more uh, in on this detail. Pretty cool um, work with the, with the engine and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Right, you know, yeah, I, I like this um, uh, color. I think I think this is this and the green are called as squeeze colors. I, I don't know if they are still called the same, uh, but there was a time where um, this one and, and the lime green were called the squeeze colors, right? So there we have the 2018 Ford Focus Rally Sport. Up next, we have um, uh, an all time favorite the 1969 Ford Mustang Boss 302. I love this casting. Uh, you know, I, I am a big fan of this casting. I collected both in Matchbox and in Hot Wheels, right? So I'm a, a sucker for the, um, you know, classic Mustang models. And the 69, uh, uh, the 67 Mustang and uh, the 69 happen to be uh, my favorites from the late 60s. So there you have it. And the opening part here is again the hood. Okay. Right. So, yeah, there you have the engine. Right. Uh, some pretty cool detail there. Right. Yeah. There we have the 69 Ford Mustang Boss 302. I, I love the, um, you know, racing stripes. Yeah, it, it says Boss 302 here. Pretty cool. Up next, we have the 1988 Mazda RX-7, right? 1988 Mazda I think this is gonna be like a instant fan favorite for a, for a lot of people who collect JDM, right? And the opening part again here is the hood. Let me try to get it open there. There we have it. Yeah, and just with the Citroen, this doesn't go very very much. You know, it it, it doesn't go higher than this, and I am like so scared that I'll crack the windshield or do something like that if, if I prop it any 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 higher than that, all right? So there we have the 1988 Mazda RX-7. Pretty cool job there with the, with the headlights, with the detailing on the headlights and, uh, you know, the interior. Um, somehow, uh, you know, these, these rims just uh, you know they're pretty cool. You know they go very well with the with the classic um, you know yesteryear's um, models, right? And the, these wheels also kind of remind me of the age-old Hot Wheels I used to have as a kid, <laughs> right? So neat job there on the Mazda. Up next, uh, also from the same mix, we have the 2022 Lexus LX. Um, now, I know even with the Matchbox moving parts line, this is probably the second time uh, that the Lexus has uh, made an appearance. I think the last time um, it came out in white, like like this Citroen white, like this, um, you know, uh, what do you call it? Like a pearl uh, enamel white, uh, right? So um, this is probably the second time um, that Lexus is making an appearance in the moving parts line, so. 2022. I think it's really cool uh, where, where some of these models are current, you know, I mean, um, in, in the past, I have, I have given like diecast models um, to people who actually own the, uh, you know, the real, the re real uh, cars, right? So, you know, I mean, I have seen their eyes 
go wide with excitement when they see um, a scale model of the exact car that they own. So that's that's a pretty cool thing. And you know, even though um, you know collecting diecast is such a huge hobby, you know, uh, there, there's not a lot of friends in in my uh, circle who do that. So you know, I mean, the kick that they get. Uh, you know, out of being gifted a, a scale car of the of the real car that they own, that, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and the moving part here is the hatch. Okay, so I think, and that's it. Yeah, it's not it's not going any any more than that, right? The moving part is the hatch. Okay, I think they've probably got some props in the hatch, but you know, uh, from this angle not really able to get into that detail but um, it's pretty cool because uh, they have like the uh, Lexus um, uh, labeling and uh, you know uh, I think it says Lexus 500 here right yeah pretty cool wow check that check that uh-huh you know check check that grill out you know I, I think it's like a sticker right so, but you know, I mean, uh, they, they've done a very nice job, um, you know, imitating the uh, grill of Lexus, which used to be pretty cool on all these uh, cars that you see on the streets, right? There we have it. All right, now we are moving up to the latest assort assortment of uh, moving parts. Uh, first up is a 2016 Ram ambulance, right? So. Pretty cool casting. I think the opening parts are the uh, um, are, are the rear, right? The loading, the place where you load people in and out of the ambulance, right? Yeah, the doors. Yeah, there you go. All right. So it says Matchbox County Ambulance, right? I think this is prob probably going to be um, uh, you know a repeating um, livery. In, in Matchbox, we, you have a lot of cars like emergency vehicles, rescue vehicles, um, um, you know, police, um, uh, ambulances, uh, fire engines. They, they always say Matchbox County, right? It's it's a pretty cool, um, you know, set to build, I guess. So it says Matchbox County Ambulance Unit 58. Wow, and check out those ambulance doors. Okay. So I prop both of them open and you know if you can let let me just try and they have probably like a couple of beds, you know, one one sitting couch and the place where they put the stretcher and everything, right? Let me just try to shine the yeah. Right? So that's the detail. Okay. Pretty cool casting so that there we have the 2016 ram ambulance you know i i really like it when the models roll right it's pretty cool it's it's like something that you can even like move around rather than just like uh put it in a display case and let it sit there up next we have the 1965 volkswagen 1600 tl fastback now i think this has been uh, a collector favorite ever since its introduction in the Matchbox line. Um, you know, I think some of the earliest either Matchbox collectors or uh, the Matchbox moving parts has uh, seen this uh, uh, Volkswagen Fastback, right? It's a pretty cool casting. Um, also vintage, all the VW lovers out there, including myself, right? So the opening parts are the car's doors, right? Pretty cool. It says Groom VW on the rear. All right. Yeah. Pretty cool. Classic Matchbox wheels, right? There you have it. Classic Matchbox wheels, right? They did, did a pretty um, neat, simple, and elegant job on the uh, uh, VW Fastback. Let's put it there. Wow, this is a very interesting model. I was like very excited. Um, uh, the 2022 Alfa Romeo Stelvio, right? Again, just like the uh, Lexus we saw back there. Um, this is one of those um, current market models, like, you know, 
um, if you know someone you could always like uh, if you know someone who owns an Alfa Romeo Stelvio you can always like catch them by surprise <laughs> when you when you give them a scale model right so uh, this is a pretty cool casting just once again just trying to get it out apparently I'm not doing a very great job at it yeah Wow, check that out. That's pretty cool. Yeah, do you uh, are you getting in on this detail, right? There we have the classic Alfa Romeo uh, front grille, right? And the moving part is the uh, car's doors, right? Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, and um, the rear, the tailplate says Alfa Romeo nice detail on the on the stelvio here right pretty cool pretty cool i i really dig this casting it's 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 so relatable you know i mean like when um the, my, my biggest time pass when i um um uh, you know when i drive on the roads it's like looking at a model and seeing if i have a die cast model of it <laughs> you know right <clears throat> that's a fun way to pass time while driving all right, up next we have the 1978 Ford Bronco. So this, as you can see, uh, is a new tooling for 2024. Um, and I think this was probably one of the models that was, uh, uh, you know, hyped up by uh, Lamley Group in a good way, in a good way. Um, I, I think it's it's totally, it's, it's definitely worth the hype because um, the, there was a, there was, probably a Bronco being released uh, by someone else. It was not, it was definitely not uh, Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels did not release a Bronco recently, or maybe it was on the main line. Um, I, don't, I don't remember. But, you know, um, this Ford Bronco uh, was um, highly, uh, you know, kind of like a, a, a model that we were all um, looking forward to, right? So 1978 Ford Bronco, solid, um, you know, a, a really nice moving part here without any hindrances, right? All right. So there you have nice details on the on the engine, right? All right. Nice engine bay. Yeah. Ford. Yeah. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. There you can see the you can see the truck, <laughs> right? You can see the truck right there, right? Pretty pretty awesome rugged casting. Right, definitely uh, built for uh, off-road experiences. There we have the 1978 Ford Bronco. Up next, we have the 1970 AMC Javelin, right? Another new casting for 2024, um, you know, classic American muzzle. And a really uh, beautiful color there. Yeah, I always get confused when I go to stores. Um, when I look at these two models, I was like, hey, I do have one of these, you know? I mean, like, uh, but then, you know, they, they, and that, that is when, you know, when I, when I first saw this mix, I, uh, I was like, oh, it's, it's just that same blue car. And then, you know, when I realized it had the Lamborghini and everything, that's when I realized that it was like the latest mix. So the 1970 AMC Javelin, wow. Check that detail out. That has a beautiful Javelin signature right there. And wow, a really nice uh, moving part um, that, that opens up to reveal the engine bay. Nice details on the uh, engine bay. Classic, beautiful color and, you know, um, awesome, uh, you know, thin racing stripes. I was about to call it pinstripes, but then realized pinstripes were a different kind of detailing. Um, I think it's just pure coincidence that this model kind of like um, ended up coming last, right? That, you, you know what they say, you, you save the best for the last. Um, so here we have the 2019 Lamborghini Aventador SVJ Roadster, right? And this is another um, uh, new tooling for the year 2024 in the Matchbox Moving Parts uh, line. Wow, so 
there is something about Lamborghini Aventador and that orange, right? I think uh, back when, uh, um, I, I gotta jog my memory, I think it was Hot Wheels uh, that released the Lamborghini Aventador, the first ever model that was released, the, the, uh, the basic mainline, that was orange. And it was not a roadster model, I think it was like a completely covered one, not a roadster. Uh, you know, so um, uh, so there's something that is very um, uh, reminiscent about this um, Lamborghini and the orange, right? Especially when it comes to this model, the Aventador, right? Wow, let's try and check out the moving parts. The moving parts here are the doors. I'm not having a very, oh, okay. So the doors are like going up, okay, yep. I gotta kind of like make sure um, that, you know, they don't go against the windshield and end up like cracking it, you know? Because there's like a small plastic part here just behind the door. And, you know, I'm just like trying to make sure that it doesn't go against the windshield and end up cracking it. There we have like beautiful, beautiful model, um, you know, uh, at this price point. These are like what, 297 a pop, right? So uh, a very beautiful, uh, rugged, Lamborghini uh, Aventador SVJ Roadster with with you know opening doors. Yeah, I think the, the trick is to kind of like put it in that angle and get it back, right? So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope um, you liked uh, what we uh, unwrapped today. Uh, so clearly, my favorites would be um, the Toyota Cruiser. Uh, um, you know, for the classic vintage feel, uh, the the Mustang Boss and definitely the Lamborghini. Uh, which ones are your favorites? Um, do let me know in the comments. And um, um, you know, if you if you like the content, um, consider subscribing to the channel, uh, like and share the video. Um, until I meet you guys next time, uh, this is Suresh signing off. Rock on and stay awesome.